problem, and it's a typical scrambled paragraph problem. They give us the topic sentence here about how in the West we are most familiar with world explorers who are of European origin. So this is a topic about explorers and we are most familiar with ones from Europe so that's going to imply to me that they're going to talk about some European explorers but also those who are not familiar with and that's what we have here. We have Marco Polo, typical European explorer and then we have these other descriptions of other lesser known explorers. So I'm going to start with Q because after we've introduced this idea it makes sense for this sentence to happen which says Marco Polo, a European who traveled to China in the 13th century, serves as a classic example. Well, he's the classic example of the topic sentence. So that's our second sentence. Now we're talking about other explorers and that's where T comes in because this says some lesser known explorers, however, right, we're comparing now to Marco Polo, logged enough miles and adventures to make Marco Polo's journey look like an evening stroll. So now we're talking about other explorers and that's where we have these other three sentences. And out of the three remaining ones, uh, only R makes sense to come next because it introduces this far-flung and lesser known traveler named Ibn Battuta, a North African who left his birthplace of Tangier in the year 1325. So they're introducing this new character. That's our fourth sentence. And now these last two sentences are going to build off of that description. Um, so what comes next? So here's our first option. We have Ibn Battuta traveled all over Africa and Asia, including China, Indonesia, the Maldive Islands, and the coast of East Africa. And this other one which says Battuta's journey, oh, excuse me, Battuta's journeying lasted 24 years and covered at least 75,000 miles, most of it by land, a record that would not be surpassed for another 500 years. So I think it makes the most sense to put um, S next because it tells where this person traveled and then U um, re-emphasizes that travel by saying exactly how many years it lasted and how many miles they covered. And even we have a nice closing sentence right here, a record that would not be surpassed for another 500 years.